What's up, y'all? I got a family to feed, so let's get into this tea. <clears throat> we are about to get into Kasanet upset with Krishan Rock shady interview. Queen Naja reveals she almost broke up with Clarence. You dig? Let's get into it. Rashawn Rock revealed in a previous interview that Blueface doesn't like Kai. I said, what's Kai? He said, hell no. Nah. You know I don't fuck like that him. guy. Yo! Like, I beat up girls anyway. Dude! Uh, <laughs> Blueface! What you say? He said don't fuck me. It's what the fuck? Oh, exactly. He's like in here. Why you say fuck me for? Mm -hmm. Damn, Blue. That's tough. So Cam Newton wanted to know the real reason behind Blueface not liking Kai, which Kai reacted. Okay, Kai, what he did was, I don't know why he does this, but he make it seem like we're bullying him and really it was improv. Okay. So it was like, when we did something and it, it was the viral most uh, okay. most viral stream he had on his little shit. Mm. He'll go back and start talking Damn. about the motherfuckers he bring on. Like, it, it's viral to call out shit mid or, but when we don't come back on your platform to show love, it's because what you said after we left, like, like he do like weird shit. Like when I threw the chair and it made a hole in the wall. I will agree. Kai do do weird shit. I'm not going to lie. Um, he He's like shady towards you. And then he act like that never happened. So I agree. Oh, but he was like, before we went on the stream, he's like, before we went on the stream, he's like giving this pep talk to be viral, like to be yourself, the, all all bets is What are you all. talking about? Shit like that. Like, we're like, okay, let me be myself and be like, we're going to go viral. But it was like afterwards, it was like. I think that's, I'm sorry. I think, hold on. I think that's his personality to um like act like he talking shit at the same time. Like, he'll be talking to a girl on the phone and then on the stream make it look like something different. But I just think that's a part of the game. I... He gave this bad review, and it was like, damn. Yeah. Why did you but you went back to do what Wait, that was what? two weeks ago. Yeah, but I'm just saying, like, all right, we can... I can still make money with you. How? Okay, can we talk about how you made me feel the last time I was on your stream? Push on. First things first, I love you. <laughs> I love you, Krishan. I love you, bruh. But listen, bruh. Okay, Krishan, did I tell you to be yourself? I tell everybody be themselves coming on stream because some people get nervous with that much people watching them. So yes, I told Krishan, Krishan, relax. It's cool. Be yourself. Have fun. I never told her to go viral, my <laughs> <laughs> You feel me? She threw the ch and I, I admit, I was scared that night. I was scared that night. You feel me? Then I learned that she was pretty cool behind the scenes. If you pay attention, that's why when she came on my seven days in stream, I Krishan so happy because I got to see a whole different side of her behind the scenes. Like when it was when I just met with her seven days in, she was cool. I was able to make so much jokes with her and shit like that because I'm now comfortable with Krishan. Before though, <laughs> I was terrified. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, come on, bro. The Before nigga ain't lying. Terrified. I mean, now, bro, I, I understand Krishan and shit like that, but Krishan, I gotta see that full clip. What the, f Krishan, you don't fuck with me, bro. Don't say that, bro. Nah, bro. If you watch my previous video, King said, Kai go through with everybody he after they leave him. It's always something after somebody leaving. I, I. <laughs> I know it too well. And Kizzy recently came forward and told the real reason why her and King Sid broke up. That link is down below. Well, Deshae Frost recently flew Kinsey out to Atlanta with him. Now, if you don't know, in the past, Deshae and King Sid got into it because King Sid accused Deshae of copying his boxing content. The boxing events, bro, you got it, bro. I haven't even seen you in the ring one time. I'm the one who really began in the ring, risking my shit. Come on, bro. Get in the ring. You smoke too much. I smoke every day. You scary. It's good. At the end of the day, everybody in the internet knows. You call me bitch. At the end of the day, everybody knows who's the real bitch. I ain't gonna lie, Deshae whoop King said for sure. Deshae got them hands. I'm tagging you. I'm showing you. I don't care. I don't give a fuck. Try to do shit on the story and shit. I can't even see the shit. My tag me in it. My I'm doing shit for fun. I'm I'm very very settled. Like I'm very good. I'm very good. I don't need none of that shit. It's just like damn, suck your shit. See me in the ring. Fuck you. Make some money. Queen Naja revealed that her and Clarence yeah. almost broke up while she was in the process of making her EP that she recently released. That link is down below. Someone tweet, Queen, so are you single? Cause that's what I'm getting from this EP. Queen responded back, no, but I almost was when I was making these songs. We made it through. Shout out to us. Someone Period. tweet, story time will be skipping over that part and just streaming. Queen responded, y'all gonna stream and keep wondering, LOL. Y'all leave y'all comments down below. <laughs> Let me know what y'all thinking when it comes to that. Cause I don't have to tell you. <laughs> I will say, um, you know, we've came on and gave a portion of our relationship and in our bad times and shit like that. 
I don't regret it because it helped us out because we was dealing with things that we never dealt with before. And I'm talking about with real life shit, children, baby daddies and shit like that. That's some real life shit. Um, but glad we got through that. By the grace of God, we got through that. But now we'll never do it. And it didn't it didn't affect us either. It wasn't bad. It's just that people will continue to use your shit against you. And it's like, ah, never mind. I was just trying to, you know what I'm saying? Be transparent, but y'all want to be too serious. I ain't got time for that shit. Uh, Holly Belly and DDG are tired of the pregnancy comments. They both Holly, snap. Holly, you're pregnant, sis. Let it go. We know. Uh, on the Snapchat. Jesus. This is very annoying. It's extremely annoying. But it's also flattering. You must really care. Like, probably piss some people probably don't care about their mama as much as they care about us. Damn. And that's just how it be. That was rude as fuck. <laughs> very beautiful people and we very entertaining people and people just want to be tapped in so it's annoying it's irritating i hate it but it's also flattering i'm glad that y'all like me this much y'all like us this much that y'all want to be in our business smell our armpits be under our nose damn i don't get it but it is over it it is what it is man it's what i signed up for Listen, if I see one more person say something about my nose one more time, it's going to be hell to pay. <laughs> why? Because. Leave me alone. I am black. I love my nose. What is you concerned about my nose for? Leave me the hell alone. Jazz and Tate during their recent That's video so revealed crazy. this. Fans want to know what the people want to know. Feelings in like. Jazz, that's the one type of <laughs> like, I'm really trying to understand. I don't know. You gotta answer me all the way. Um, I don't know. Like... <laughs> <laughs> Dying laughing. Um, honestly, maybe. Is the attraction yes. still there? Is the attraction still there? Just be honest, I'm not gonna get butt hurt. I'm, I'm a G. Yes, you she on your still look good. That's what y'all want to know. Yes, she still look good. Oh. Nigga, they trying to see, is you attracted? When she walked in the room, did you say, eh, hey, you know what I'm saying? Like, was it like that? We know she pretty, nigga. I'm talking about when she walked in the room, was you like, All right, damn, what's going on? Take you know I guess. I guess not, y'all. Oh that ain't the question. That is, the church is still there. That what that mean? It means if you look good or not. Over it. I learned to sing it. <laughs> yes, I'm going to say yes. <laughs> Friend just cut the video off. All right, y'all. Oh, wait, wait. Last thing, we got to get the Clarence video. Um, It's so short. Let's get to this shit right here. It is. This nigga was aggravated. <laughs> Why y'all be playing with me like that? I don't know, but the beard is bearding. Why y'all be playing with me like that? Y'all know, y'all know damn well. I ain't trying to fly nobody out. Save it. So this is how I be feeling when y'all bring shit up about Clarence. I ain't gonna lie. But y'all think I be on the nigga side all the time anyway, which I do, because I don't think he crazy enough to do this shit. Simply because, nigga, how he started with Queen, they would tear his ass to pieces. That little bit of booty ain't worth it. It's not worth it. Remember he said he loved Queen in bed? And I love her in bed. Do Y'all don't remember that? Okay. He don't need no extra coochie. Now, I know he's a man. Men do shit. I know. I talk about niggas all the time that cheat. I get it. I just don't think Clarence crazy enough to do it. I don't. I just don't. I was with my mom all weekend. She the only one I'm flying out. Save it. Stop putting my name in, in things that my name is not even in. Okay. <laughs> this is how y'all got me early in the morning. Just woke up. I got a lot to do. I got to get dressed. 
I'm not even dressed, gang. Look at this. I'm, I'm not even. I'm not even dressed. Save it. <laughs> I just had to come on here and tell y'all to save it all the way. Leave my name out of it. Stop it. That nigga said, "Leave me alone." I will never. <coughs> I will never. Ever, 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 ever. Okay, you said it. And have never, ever. Leave my name out of it, gang. Y'all be trying to play on my name too much like I'm some kind of horny little boy. Word! Th that's what I said the last time. Like, why y'all keep trying to act like this nigga just out here itching for booty? Like, they was like, Clarence was like, yo, yo, come on, please. Please come on. Like, even Ma was like, yo, I, I would have believed it until you said the nigga was begging. And that he threw it all out. I completely agree, 100%. That shit is a no-no. Save it. Yeah, I feel him on Leave that. my name out of it. I, I haven't even brushed my teeth, haven't even got dressed, took a shower. I'm, I'm coming on that here. That nigga took the lens cap off the camera. <laughs> early so y'all know I'm dead serious. And I'm not addressing it. I'm not making no video about it, none. I don't care what y'all think. But just leave my name out of it and know that I will never ever ever Just stop playing with me bro <laughs> to my supporters i love y'all niggas i appreciate y'all stay tuned for the video man that nigga was aggravated then he just went like handsome after he was looking crazy you see he got the beard together and everything but anyway I know y'all like, she, I mean, telling a nigga handsome. I'm a grown, and I mean grown, as woman, okay? Um, I love to call my kings handsome and the queens beautiful and some because honey sauce, that's me. But anyway, y'all let me know what y'all think down in the comment section below. We are done with this video. Love y'all. Appreciate y'all. Well, matter of fact, before we go, y'all think Clarence did that shit? I'm going to tell y'all, no, I don't. I told y'all that this last time, but I'm going to tell you again. I don't think that he has the kahunas to do that shit because he already know what that's going to bring. It's a waste. Who the fuck want all that drama? I wouldn't dare. Like, the amount of drama it brings and he ain't even did that shit. Can you imagine the amount of, uh, the amount of drama it would bring if he did that shit? Fuck, got time for that. But yeah, y'all let me know. Bye.